What's up guys, it's Zed and this is episode 6 of our Real Madrid career mode on FC24. Last episode was kind of a roller coaster because we're losing matches, we're winning matches. We lost the um, Super Cup for the, the Spanish Super Cup finals to Barcelona. But we have Leipzig first in this episode, then the match against Sevilla who is currently second place in the league. And then we have the second leg of the semi-finals of the um, Copa de España against Real Betis. We're going to sim that because, you know, we already pretty much did most of the work in the first leg. Leipzig is using a counter-attack tactical vision that is going to be deadly, especially with this kind of a team. Javi Simons is one player we have to look out for as well as Werner. This is the team that we're using in this match. Vinicius and Rodrigo in the wings, Vlahovic in the center. New player, by the way. Modric is going to be playing for Florian Wirtz because, you know, he's complaining about lack of playing time. So, you know, I'm just going to play him. I mean, this is pretty much his last season though in Real Madrid. And then Bellingham, Chouameni, Mendy, Alexander Arnold at the fullback, then Militao and Rudiger as the centre back duo with Courtois in the goal. So let's go into the match and let's hope we can come out with a really good win. The playable highlights we're doing on this, and we should be able to come out with a win against Leipzig. Oh, he actually has the freaking treats. So that's that's interesting. So let's see if we can go far post. The keeper is going to come out of collect. That was not a very good free kick. We have yet another one though, and this one is Mendy. Well, I don't think I'm going to go long with this because probably is going to go short first and then oh my god that is just dumb Bellingham got Mendy. this give this all give this to Vlahovic and yeah that was Showing the worst patience. that was the wrong Can't pass there ahead. anybody making a run into the box and Rodrigo and yeah it's the cross was actually too late but it was a good idea though so we have pretty much the exact same chance and I'm not going to go along with this one either ways. And I'm hoping someone will actually... Okay, yeah. Militao is here. And... Give it to Mendy. Good. Rodrigo. Blahovic. Somebody. Oh my god, that was really close. That was really close. They have a counter-attack here. And this is going to be so dangerous because... Um... There's Werner. And he's, he's a beast in FIFA, to be honest. So, we have to... Be absolutely sure we do not fuck this up. Let's not defend in the midfield with our freaking defenders, please. Vinicius, can you do a bit of defensive? No, you can't. Now options are plenty. All right, this is this is getting yeah, scary. No. Okay, that really is good. Up, no Next up, we have an attack, and this is looking like the best opportunity. Hopefully, the game doesn't screw me over here. Give it to Vlahovic, please, please. Oh! That was that goal, was the perfect chance to give ourselves some kind of an advantage for the next leg. Day. Oh my yeah, god, that's crazy! <laughs> Maybe because he used his weaker foot, that is why that should happen. But we have Sevilla up next. They are currently um eight points behind us, and hmm, well, we shouldn't really have a problem winning this match though. Next up, we have Sevilla though. Their tactical vision standard. We should be able to um, counter that. We're playing the table highlights for this one as well. But before I do that, let's just make a little bit of a change here. Garcia got a red card in that match. That is weird. But I'm going to bring in Nacho. Alaba is going to come in for Rudiger in this match. And I think I want to play Kamavinga instead of Chouameni. And Rodrigo is going to play again. And we are good. Let's hope that we can get the win. We should be able to do I hope. I hope. Because, I mean, this game can actually throw out anything at us. And, well, let's just go straight into the match. If you guys are enjoying the video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Put in the comment section what you think. And, well, let's move on. Long cross by Sevilla. This is not good. Right? Okay, we're at home. Oh, my God. What the hell? What the hell? I was trying to clear the ball there. Ah, or is it just a, a really easy penalty now? And of course, they score. Great. All right, so we can actually always come back. We have a solo run for Rodrigo, and I'm not really sure how this is a solo run, but let's just try and go around the defender if possible, which is not. But yeah, we have a freaky for Real Madrid here. We have to win this match. It's a it's a must win, even though we are pretty much clear from them. But still, though, it's a it's a must win for us. So I don't know if 
the previous match recorded i just saw that my recording was paused and well if it wasn't we drew nil nil in the match against Rubetti and we lost to sevilla which is kind of sad we're going all out against valencia here and let's hope we can get the win away from home we are starved of the win we do not we draw yet another match i have no idea what the hell is going on in this episode next up though we have celta and this is what the table looks like sevilla is gaining on us they are just five points behind us now and uh it's it's bad i have no idea what the hell is happening but let's hope that we can actually do some sort of let's hope we can come back in this match against celta vigo i'm going to be seeing the match as well but before i do that let's just change the formation real quick florian Vert and <clears throat> bellingham center midfield i'm going to give kamavinga a chance here as well as garcia so let's sim the match and hope we do win it yes we do bellingham rodrigo and kamavinga and now it's time for the second leg against rb leipzig we drew the first one and i mean just means this one we need to do as best as we possibly can here so that we can move into the next round of the round of 16 the last match we played in the Champions League, we actually lost it. The, like the last full match we played, that was against Napoli back in the group stage. We should be able to get a win here. I, I believe in the team. We're going all out. This is our best team. And well, let's hope that we come out with a win. I'm really hoping that we actually do get a win in this match because this episode has not really been the best. We haven't won a match in this episode apart from the previous match that we won against, against Celta Vigo. So let's hope that that does help us out here because if not bruh all right we have a chance for bellingham here and oh oh, oh my god Blahovic did not react as as fast as I, I would have liked him to all right bellingham to Blahovic, and this should be a goal i have no idea what the hell Blahovic is doing i was trying to make him turn to his left and he was just acting like a big fool to be honest but but we are we are pressing them really good and please let me reset the ball here to Brits all the way to Alexander Arnold who gets his first goal for the club and that is one hell of a goal I'm using a 40 60 and it's it's lagging so I actually don't have a clue why but if you guys can actually help me out there it should be really good but yeah it's a really good really good assist from Florian Brits the new boys all all gather together to get a good a good goal for us there we're looking pretty good at the start of the match what the hell is that pass who the hell will pass like that good one though from rudiger okay good good one from chouamini there let's see if we can't oh my god come on i was going to that's a very annoying to be honest because i was about to release blahovic there and it's just it's just not going to happen now well, let's see what can happen here. Nothing. Lahovic can't get the ball. Gets to Vinicius. And yeah, that was just a failure of an opportunity there. All right, Werner is the really dangerous person here. So let's try our very best. Okay, can we release someone here? Oh, that's offside already. Well, I was just I was just too late with the pass. I saw it. I I could have actually like done it better there, but I just reacted too late to it. Kotoa, thank you so much for that. Let's get this to Vinicius. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. Can we go all the way? Looks like we can. Vinicius, not going to miss. He has made those runs time and time and time again. And he has won. He has he has um, he has almost always scored those to be honest. And that is yet another goal for us. Really good, really good run from Vinicius. I mean the the skill at the beginning of that run to get past a defender that was insane. And well, we deserve the goal to be honest. This is not good. And well, Courtois did really well there. Counter attack chance maybe. Rudiger, okay, Courtois gets it out. So let's get this to Vinicius straight up. And what can we do here, though? Real find themselves in a position of menace. Good idea. Lahovic and the keeper does make a really good save there. That was actually a really good, a really good one to hold the ball from Vinicius. And let's just try give um, Valverde here. I should actually, I'm actually supposed to to um give my corners to this guy. Oh my god, that was. 
That was really close. I was supposed to give my corner to Alexander Arnold, so I'm going to like change that pretty soon. Bahovic, score please. Thank you. That's 3 0 before halftime. And we, it looks like we have pretty much won this match already. I mean, that was a really good play from the team. And we're able to get a goal. Sorry about the lag once more. Vlahovic touches are kind of weird. They're not as sharp, to be honest. Like, there's like a delay on them. Three goals. Vinicius, Vlahovic, and Alexander Arno surprisingly has gotten his first goal for the team. I didn't expect it to be this early. Well, I mean, good for him. Time for the second half now. And what I want to work on in the second half is our possession. We need to keep the ball as best as possible. Hold the lead. Let's try to get the clean sheets. That would be really important. And only go forward if we absolutely have to. Vlahovic might do something here. Oh, my God. That was not even his... I thought he was going to use his right leg there. That's really weird. But, okay. I'm going to change this to Alexander Arnold real quick so that I can get the proper whip on this. That is brilliant, but it doesn't really get to anybody. Just make sure the passes we make are safe. Only safe passes allowed. And, yeah, that was not a safe pass. And into the last 30 minutes now. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just one mistake. One freaking mistake. Are we out? You know, I can't even be bothered by that. How, how does Courtois even not get a hand on that? What the hell? Good for Mendy. Let's try and release Vinicius and. Blahovic maybe doesn't exactly work out for us. I don't know why they are just so slow sometimes. It doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, that is good. Can we get this to someone of importance? No, we can't. Let's just go back. Okay, something might happen here and take good shots for Bellingham. The keeper did get a really good save on that, but that was a really big shot nonetheless. So let's switch this to Alexander Arnold real quick. Let's see if we can get Vlahovic's head on this. We can. We cannot. Let's take this back to Alexander Arnold. That's a really good cross. That's a really good cross. Oh my god. That has to be like the sexiest cross ever. Alright, 20 minutes to go. And we are. We should be able to like see this out, to be honest. If not, get another goal. We need another. Oh my god. What the hell is that? Oh my god, that's so dumb. That is so dumb. I think we've pretty much seen this out already. So let's bring in Kamavinga. Um, I will bring in... I'll take um, Bellingham to the center forward position. Bring in Arda Gula. Mm, Modric. I think Modric is... Yeah, I want to give Modric way more playing time than he, than he currently has. So I, th I think I'm good with this. And that's pretty much all the subs I'm going to make in this match. We had a really good first half, getting three goals, and that's what has pretty much won us the match, to be honest. But I mean, never say never. We just have to see it out, make sure we do not flop, like how we flopped in that first goal we conceded. Bellingham, can you get this to Vinicius? Vinicius, can you get a goal? Of oh my god. That would have been one hell of a goal, to be honest. Good save from Courtois. Yeah, all right, so we pretty much won the match. There's no way in hell they are ever going to score a goal because we just have one minute. So I just give this back to the keeper and let's call this a a game. That's brilliant. All right, so we have won the match. We are through to the quarterfinals of the of the Champions League. And well, it's looking like it's like the way we play in this match. I really hope that we can play like this for the rest of the Champions League campaign and the rest of the season at that. Next up, we have Osasuna in the La Liga. Let's see if we can get the win. We do. Vlahovic, Bellingham, Florian Wirtz, and Vlahovic again. He gets a brace to get our team the win in this match. After a long break, we have a match against Athletic Field Power. And we get yet another win. Vinicius gets the goal. And now it is time for the final of the Copa de España against Rayo Vallecano. Now, this is a match that should be easy on paper, but I am not going to I am not going to give them any chance to win this match at all. So we're going to have to go out guns blazing. We're not underestimating them at all. And well, let's just hope that we can get the win here. <laughs> Stay 
with us. We'll have all the action for you live like from Madrid here on EA TV. All right, so we're playing this match in Atletico Madrid Stadium. And I mean, it will be really fun to actually lift the trophy here, to be honest, even though it would be better to do it. Oh my God, what the hell is that? Even though it would be better to do it in in our own stadium. But all right, it's looking like, oh my God. All right, so that's the first one and we're already underestimating them. Already, I said I didn't want to and I already am. Okay, so we, ha we just have to be careful, really. Counter attack. It's how that is a good clear out of the line, and we are fighting for our lives here. We are really, we are really fighting for our lives. See if I can do something here with him. To Vinicius, can oh my god. This game can be so freaking stupid sometimes, to be honest. All right, so we have a throw in. Let's get this to Bellingham. Back to Rodrigo. Back to Bellingham. Who might be able to do something here or not? Or well, Vlahovic, please. Vinicius, I probably should have passed to Vinicius there. I saw him too late. Okay, so Alexander Arnold. Oh my god, that would have been so good. Vlahovic. To Bellingham, goal, thank you. Well, that's the first goal of the team, and it's Bellingham that gets the goal for us. It's when I started using OBS, I started lagging. So eventually, I will get, I will get the way around it, and we'll be, will be good. But what's important is the goal that we have scored here. Bellingham is the one that has stepped up to get a goal for the team, and he has chopped a lot again. <laughs> Bellingham once again. And the keeper does get a, a glove on that. All right, Alexander Arthur, what do you have for me here? Blahovic. Now that's a goal. That is a goal. And we are 2 0 up in the final of the Copa Espana. And we are probably winning this, to be honest. So let's just try and keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing and make sure we actually we absolutely drown these guys in goals so that I will be satisfied. And this might be a chance for a counter. Oh, oh they're going shorts, which is but that was a block from rudiger that was that was insane to be honest Vinicius, can you do this seems you can lahovic please and that is yet another goal oh my god <laughs> we are absolutely drowning these guys three three nil in the in the first half it's looking yeah. good guys it's looking really really good all right, that is brilliant from Vinicius. And he might still be able to do something here. And go. Oh, yeah, we said, we said too much time there already. Oh, Kamavinga. Thank you. Florian Britti, you are open. And this is a goal. Definitely a goal. And that is 4 0 up in the first half. And the, the second half is looking like it's just going to be a walk in the park, to be honest. So, uh,. Yeah, it was really good from Kamavinga to actually save himself and get the and get the ball to to Florian Ritz. Good turn from Florian Ritz to set himself up for a magnificent goal. It's looking like they have given up, to be honest. And yeah, I just gave them a sliver of hope there, but the referee has saved us with the the, the halftime whistle. All right, first move in the second half, maybe. Rodrigo, and this might be a goal for him. Oh my god, we do not score that. How does he score that though? Alright, so they are looking really dangerous here. Let's try and not continue the penalty, please. Oh my god, we have just absolutely screwed ourselves over. Courtois, you have saved our lives there. Oh my god. He threw himself at that completely. Alright, so that was lucky, but we still come up with the ball. Lahovic gets to Bellingham. Who should not miss from there? Definitely not. And that is, yes, another goal for the team. 5 0. Oh, it's a walk in the park right now. And Kamavinga, you have done really well. But you're going to continue the match. Still, I'm bringing Florian Vitz. Sorry, I'm bringing Chouameni on for Florian Vitz. And maybe. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I want to do right now. Modric will come in later on for this guy. And yeah, let's, let's move on. And yeah. That could have been a goal if it was just on target, and I am not. I am not loving that to be honest. But let's just restart here. 
what can I actually do here though? I'm thinking get it out to Kamavinga and power shots. Oh, 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 that is so sad. That's so sad. Does this go out? Yes, it does. Actually, right, so subs are coming in just too. Vlahovic is going off for Arnavilla. Um, Alexander Arnold is going off for Alaba. And we could still do something here, to be honest. Vinicius, you're offside, maybe. You're not. That's a goal. Okay, I take it. Six mil. And yeah, we are absolutely demolishing them, to be honest. All right, Arda. Oh, good. Oh, 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 oh. We still get it all the way to Kamavinga. That is, that is good. 7-0. Seven 7-0 nil. Seven nil in the final of the Copa de España. <laughs> oh, my God. I actually wanted to go for Arda Gula there. But, I mean, he got offside. So, I had to, like, change the direction of the pass. And I was really shocked that Kamavinga was able to get all the way to that. That is good for him, to be honest. And he has a goal in the final as as well as everybody else that has scored in this match. Well, he's going to be coming off for Valverde. And that's the end of his match. He, had, he has had a really good match all the way from the from the first whistle of the match. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus Christ, what the hell is that? Can we get this to Valverde? We can, in fact, do that. And we get to Vinicius, who will give Bellingham a chance for another goal. And that is eight. Four goals in the first half. Four goals in the second half. And Bellingham has a hat-trick in the final of the of the Copa de España. It's crazy. And I, I, I was talking about getting another goal. And we did. That is really, really good. That guy played Bellingham onside. And, well... I think I think I'm going to retire from the goals now. So all I'm going to do is just get the ball back and just and just like hold possession till the referee blows the final whistle. That is the match that we have won. So this is the very first trophy of this series. We have two more to go to get the treble for this season. And I mean, it's, look, it's looking like it's possible. We probably are going to win the league if we actually keep going as well as we are going right now. Um, as for the Champions League, we absolutely have to put all of our all of our focus there, all of our attention to the Champions League, so that we can we can get to the final at least. And whoops, I completely forgot to watch them lift the trophy. That is my bad. That was actually our first trophy lift, and we have completely fucked that up. <laughs> all right, so we have won the Copa de España, eight goals to nothing. That is one hell of a match. But we have Inter Milan. Up next in the Champions League. I'm going to play the playable highlights of this one and then end the episode here. And we have the, the second leg just like a couple couple minutes away. Or right, a couple days away, I said minutes. It's been a really good run. We didn't lose any matches at all. We have pushed ourselves further again in the La Liga. We are now nine points, if I'm not wrong. Nine points away from Barcelona. That's three matches. We have eight matches to go. And if we can just hold on, we might just get the treble. But now we have Inter Milan. Their tactical vision is a standard one, which means they are pretty much good all round. I think I'm going to go all out in this match. And let's see if we can get a win. We are in the Bernabeu. And there's a chance. There's a chance that we should be able to get a win in this match. Because it's playable highlights. It can be good to us. It can be bad to us. Let's just hope that we can at least get a draw. No loss. And Lotaro Martinez kicks off there. And oh, Cruz is in this team, which means he's going to be playing up against his his former team. A chance for a, a counter. That's if the game doesn't screw us over. Courtois, yeah, it, it does screw us over. All right, so we have the solo run here for Blahovic, and he should be able to he should be able to get a, a goal here. Should be able to get a goal. Oh my God! I just what? Why did he Why did he lose the ball there? Anyway, long cross. So this is another chance for, for Vlahovic to do something here. If it's in fact going to him, which it does not. And I absolutely screw that up once again. But now we have the penalty. The game is being really good to us. Penalty in the 33rd minute. Vlahovic is going to be on this. I'm going to go top right with all the power in the world. And yeah, it's a really good goal. The keeper, the keeper did well. I mean, he went in the right direction a bit. But I mean, it was just too powerful was just too powerful a shot for him to be able to do anything to that now we have a counter attack Vinicius is looking like he he should be able to be good with this and can he reach it no he cannot oh he actually did end up with the ball there to be honest but now we have a 
a chance here. Bellingham is going to be on this. Is this guy still in the in the in the game? Alexander Arnold is still in him, and I'm going to go for an outer foot shot here. Oh, I, oh my God! I shot. That's dumb. An effective ball. Wait, I. I just played it back towards him. What the hell? Vinicius. Nothing. Let's try and get this to Alexander Arnold once again. And yeah, it's going to go that way through. Long cross by Inter Milan. We sh we got this covered if I'm not wrong. Let's just try and see out this 1-0 lead. So we, we, we would at least be in a good position to start the next match. Good save from Courtois there, and I hope this is the end. Yeah, that's the end of the match. We do get the win in the match, so it has been a really good end to the episode. We started kind of iffy, and one step closer to getting to the semi-finals of the Champions League. And if we just do really well in the match against Inter in the next in the next leg, we should be able to easily go straight into the semi-finals of the Champions League. All right, so we have come to the end of the match, and we have the match against Mallorca. That's going to be the next episode, though. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified of when i drop i am also dropping new wwe content on my channel so you guys should definitely check that out if you're into wwe stuff and well i'll see you guys in the next video